Hey guys, uh, welcome to iLand. Today we are going to discuss about Charles Proxy. I'm sure after watching this video, you'll be able to know the complete details of it, what Charles Proxy is all about, what would need it, how to view the HTTP traffic, uh, and how do you set up Charles Proxy on Mac for Android. So before we get started, do subscribe to my channel, like and share videos over there. So what is Charles proxy all about? Charles is a HTTP proxy or we also call HTTP monitor or reverse proxy that enables a developer to view all of the HTTP and SSL traffic between the machine and the internet. Uh, this includes request responses and the HTTP headers. Um, lately I have been working on Android apps and um, you know, uh, I was in a way to figure it out how do you debug some of the requests that I'm making from our apps without logging into the locket or other. The request uh, that I wanted to check happened to be protected by SSL. So in addition to adding proxy information to my device networking configuration, I also needed to install Charles root certificate. And yes, it turns out that is possible. but requires you know a bit of work over there uh, luckily i have done this few times and i'm confident about it there so before we get started um, you know uh, um, um, if you haven't downloaded charles there you could download you could go to the site called charlesboxy.com you could um, you know click on the document section and see what it, it all says about and click on the download section you could download it it's also available for windows mac and linux since we'll uh, i'm working on mac i'll be uh, letting you know how it how you can configure it on mac how you can work with that there um, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that it's also the same on the other operating systems there so uh, click on this and you will be able to download the charts install it uh, I have already installed it on my device and uh, so I will move further there next step is that um, you know um, if you are an Android developer over there this is just a sample project that I am showing it to you uh, because the idea is all about how do you see your HTTP traffic uh, uh, on an Android device using Charles over there so this is just a sample project that I have, have and I'm making few API calls um, you know obviously we need to know uh, what that uh, network request card contain. The first step is to you know um, add this network security config.xml in your uh, project over there. So uh, if you uh, don't have a folder called xml create one xml folder uh, you know just add this network security config dot xml in that uh, don't worry about this I'll be sharing the network security config xml um, uh, in the description link below so that you can download and use it there uh, this is the first step that you need to do once you are done with this step um, just go to the manifest file um, and then uh, no, uh, you could refer to the network security config uh, in here in the application level over there so these are the first two steps that you need to do um, so once you are done with this there um, the next step is uh, you know Charles over there how do you set up Charles there so as soon as you you know open Charles this is how it uh, the Charles interface would look like once you have uh, opened the Charles make sure you click on proxy and uncheck this Mac OS proxy the reason why uh, this is uh, because uh, if you if this has been checked that means that whatever the traffic that's going via your Mac will be uh, shown in this uh, there uh, so that's how uh, you will be able to monitor your HTTP traffic but we don't want that there um, we could uh, see that uh, later uh, in the uh, further but now what we need is we need to have this traffic uh, to be seen on the charles using your android device so it's the first step there so once you have unchecked this you know uh, if you're you could use an emulator or you could use your own device over there um, you know just open the uh, you know open the device and you know this is my emulator there and you could turn off your data over there and you could directly click on your uh, wi-fi uh, this uh, uh, and you could uh, long press on this uh, wi-fi 
uh, and you could click on modify network there once you click on modify network you could see something called mm, um, right away it would be something like this you could see something like proxy none um, uh, and IP settings so click on proxy and click on manual over there since I've already done this uh, this is there uh, it asks you for a host name and proxy port uh, host name is in my case it's 192.168.1.12 and proxy port is double eight double eight so how do you get these details over there um, so going back to your charts click on uh, help section uh, SSL proxy install Charles root certificate on a mobile device or a remote browser as soon as you click on this it will let you know what all the port numbers that is being configured it to and so get this information over there and you know just put it in your Android device so uh, since I've already done this there uh, this is done so this uh, 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 next first step that the second step would be to install the Charles certificate how do you do this is uh, simply go to chls uh, dot pro dot ssm um, as soon as you click on this it will ask you to download a temp file or there click on download and uh, it would download if you have set a pattern it will ask you the confirm your pattern once that is done um, it will ask you to add a name you could give something like a sales hyphen proxy and click on ok there so once it is done it says that the charge proxy is installed so that's it you are good to go the next step that we are going to do in here is I know we all already have the sample app there and let's try to run the sample app and see how it behaves there so as soon as I click on run over there you could see the app getting installed and you could see a lock saying that it was all success over there now going back in here uh, uh, you could see the request coming in, in here and these are all the requests that is uh, being um, done on your Android device uh, the API calls that I have done is uh, you know something called dummy rest api example.com and employees over there I could click on this and I could see all the information um, that I need as soon as I click on overview it gives you the all the information about this um, uh, request over there uh, and when you want to know the headers out of it um, 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 if there are few third party libraries um, which are CDN based libraries which will add few headers to your um, uh, you know API calls if you are using that you could directly go into the content and see these details in here and uh, this is all the response that it gives you there so the next API uh, that I have done I have probably have made four API calls out of which this was the first one the next one is the JSON player from the type code .com. Uh, so I, I could even see those details in here as well there uh, so this is how you monitor your HTTP traffic uh, you know in your um, Android app uh, there so now now you would be wondering okay uh, this is my sample project or this your app that I'm currently being developed and I could see the traffic that is going in but how do I see the traffic which is already there already the uh, for the app that is already there yes for this uh, what you need to do in here is that um, you have to uh, you know remember I said you about um, adding this network uh, security config layer or network security config XML and I said that Android 7.0 and newer devices needs this to be added over there but if you are running on Android version 6 you don't need any of this you can directly uh, you know install or um, know or run the app on your device and you could or you could directly drop in the APK uh, into the device and you could see all the network traffic that is going in over there so you could you need to find a device with running Android 6.0 over there but with Android 7.0, these are the steps that you need to do on over there. Without this, you will not be able to. So I would suggest you to stick with Android 6.0 uh, if you are uh, or if you want to debug your APK there. So, so this is how this is how you do it over there. Um, let me also show you one interesting thing in here is, um, you know, um, let me you know, just uh, reload this there. 
some something happened over there so let me reload this and see uh, this because this is on my emulator so it has some QFT glitches there so uh, you see I open esmin.in and you could see here all the requests going through you could see all the requests coming in here so you could drill down each one of them and see what exactly is going in here, here. so this is how you could also see your HTTP traffic in your web as well there so uh, this is this is really nice and this is, this is what I all wanted was and you could do a lot more stuff with Charles you could even block your API's uh, you could uh, to see if it's really working you could um, you know add uh, you know basically it's a um, proxy right so you could uh, use many uh, options which is available in Charles and here you could see in here you can block cookies block list allow list and you could disable the proxy and so far so you could, you could you could see variety of uh you know api calls that were being made just for that one api or you could go to the content and see what accelerates even for the images you could see how how big is the image what what is the device that is being run what is the user agent added to it and all these details there so uh, this is how you you know uh, you uh, monitor your network request using Charles uh, this is a very uh, powerful tool uh, so use it to the best uh, I hope uh, I have cleared your uh, doubts about Charles but still if you have any questions about Charles uh, proxy how to use it um, um, you know um, uh, with your Android device what are the other options that you need out of it there uh, because we saw how what is Charles how do you uh, you know uh, set up on Mac um, so that um, uh, you could see the request on Android how to view your HTTP traffic all that we saw in here there so I hope you have um, covered most of the stuff in there but still if you have any questions about it uh, please feel free to uh, ask me in the comment section I'll be able to I'll be happy to answer to your uh, questions over there so uh, thank you guys thanks for watching um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like and share the videos